Well, as you can see, we got frost on the pumpkin this morning. It's, uh, I think it's 24, 26 degrees. But uh, today I want to come out here and get uh, the lid on the coal frame. And we're going to build the doors, windows, lid, whatever you want to call it. I call it whatever. It doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to come out here and put the build these these frames and uh, put the polycarbonate on the top of this and get this ready. I wanted to show you something real quick. You, if you remember in one of my previous videos, we put uh, alfalfa pellets down in the garden and the rain, and I put them in this bed. And I want to show you uh, what it done in this bed. You can see this. Of course, it's froze now, but uh, you can see how it uh, dissolved. And uh, you can see under there where it's been kind of protected from the rain. I left those on there. But you can see under there, there's still pellets. Let me show you out here in the garden if I can what it did. Yeah, right here. Look at here. It just dissolved. We had a big rain and it just dissolved uh, before the deer could get in here or the rabbits or anything else. And uh, here in a few days, it's supposed to be dry this week. We'll, uh, we're gonna till this garden up again and, uh, and work on that. So I'm gonna do some measuring here and we're gonna go in the garage to build these, to build these frames. There's no sense in dragging everything out here. I can just do it in the garage. So let's get, these, uh, let's get this coal frame ready to go. Well, I finally got back at it. You know, when you go to get some lumber or something, and it's 12, 13 miles up the road, 10 miles, you think a guy would put his billfold in his pocket. So I get to Lowe's, walk up to the counter, guess what? No wallet. All right, what we've done here, this bed is 12 foot long. It's actually a little over 12 feet, but that's okay. But what we've done here is we've taken these treated two before, and we've 45 the ends where they'll come together. I don't know if you can see that or not, I'll get you a better view of it here in a minute. But we just want these corners to come all come together, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna screw these corners together. And then we're going to put some bracing on there. I'll get you up here where you can see. Let me get you over here. Kind of like what we're going to, what we're going to do. We're make a picture frame here. Is what we're doing. And uh, these doors are are going to be four by fours, so it's going to work out pretty good. But uh, let me get these uh, get my my drill and stuff out, and we'll we'll put this first one together. All right, first thing we're going to do, whoop, try to do this where you can see. We're going to make sure these corners are tied together. Get your screw started. Make sure your corners are good and tight. Well, that didn't work. Probably should have pre-drilled these. There was a knot there. That's that's what got me. But anyway, let's try this again. Try it without the putting it in where the knot's at. Corners good and tight. There we got it. We got it that time. And then we're going to take. 
take these corner braces. There's going to be a lot of pressure on these. We're going to take these corner braces and we're going to put these in. Just to give it some support. I can find out what I did with my... My drill bit. There it is. If you can't tell, I'm excited about gardening season. I don't know if it shows or not, but uh, I'm really excited about. Let me show you something here. You, you may not notice this. Kind of see that? This has got a beveled edge on it. The other side's flat. That beveled edge will help you out a little bit. That screw will go down in there a little better. That's what they're made for. We're just going to line that up on the corners. And that to be perfect. Everybody must have got a new gun for Christmas. They're firing over at the gun range this morning. I hope everybody got a good a good a new gun for Christmas. I hope we don't need them for anything other than sport, but you never know. The way things are. But I know one thing for sure that God is in control and it's all right. All right, we got a pretty sturdy little little deal there. Let me put the rest of this together and I'll show you what we got when we get done with it. All right, there it is. Basically, all you're making is a a four by four frame. And we'll come back and put polycarbonate. You see, that's pretty sturdy. We'll come. We'll come back and uh, put the polycarbonate on there and the hinges, and we'll we'll uh, we'll see if we can't mount these. Got three. Got two more to make. All right, we got them all cut. I want to show you how easy this little Harbor Freight uh, Meyer saw stand uh, gets put up. Show you. I think I've got a video of this. I made this, but I'm not, I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. That's all there is to it. Take it and wheel it. Put up against the wall somewhere. Make sure you put the, the stand down right. put some doors together well we got them built we got them laid out you see how they laid out we got a little gap between each one where we can open them uh, I bought some hinges so I don't like them and uh, I'm not gonna put them on I'm not gonna put the polycarbonate on today the wind started blowing out here 
and if you can't tell by the look at my red nose and the way it's running it done went got cold so winds coming out of the north this is Saturday tomorrow's preaching day I generally try at about one or two o'clock on Saturday afternoon start putting my preacher hat on and kind of get that mindset going so it's about 1 to 1 30 I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day but uh, cold frame coming along next video I'll put some hinges on there for the doors and we'll button it up and insulate it up a little bit put the polycarbonate on there and uh, we'll plant some stuff in there hopefully I think we will you hear the gun club over there they're they're having fun and frolic over there today somebody's had the 50 caliber out so it must be serious business going on over there but hey uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and watching the video and liking subscribing uh, I'm moving in on 150 subscribers that's a that's a lot and uh, I want, want y'all to know I appreciate you hey y'all be safe out there be careful remember Jesus loves you see ya